Alright guys, welcome back to the video. Today, um, we just got back from, uh, picking up some cow feed and some fertilizer. And we also, uh, got a bag lifter attachment. And we got a front loader attachment put on the International and they got the engine upgraded on it to 1586. Which is a little better than what was in it, so, um, yeah. So, my truck's a little squatted, as you could tell. Now if I raise this, this front and front suspension back up, just, yeah, so I kind of like to keep that thing down so it's not as squat as it is. Um, but we're going to take this TMR down to the cows, uh, get them fed, and then after that we're going probably, I got my grass field fixed, so we can actually get mowing, and yesterday, or not, not yesterday, last week I got back from Cole's farm, um, but last week he came down we mowed and looks like the grass is actually mowed or grew a lot so we just gotta get this stuff unloaded <clears throat> um let's see i guess we'll get the tmr off first or actually i'll just leave it on the trailer and then we'll haul it down there i'll unload everything else yeah there is a weight on the back of this and that would be because with the bag lifter on when I'm trying to pull the bag of fertilizer it does not want to pull it like it just tips the tractor forward so I guess this is too heavy I don't know alright we're just going to drop that off there now we're going to attach the bag lifter oh Jesus uh yeah, well that was kind of strapped down, it kind of got that. Alright, we're good. And we also got that fertilizer unloaded. The fertilizer is to go in the planter as well as my sprayer. Um, yeah, I'm thinking of maybe taking the plow and digging up another, maybe making it fit a little bigger. Or making them, I'm probably just going to make like a little garden or something with corn. Just a, you know, a little garden for like barbecues and stuff. I thought it'd be cool to do. Um, I gotta find a place to store all my bags and stuff. Um, what if I just store them under here? Like, just set up here and, yeah, like right in that corner would work. And then the bag lifter can go, we don't need it for any of this other stuff. You can just sit right there. And then we'll go ahead and we can go ahead and like detach the weight and we'll drop it off. Back. We might actually need the weight for when we're hauling bells too. I don't know. I, can, I need to get a red colored uh, weight instead of a green one. But I mean it worked. There's go. The, I think it's a thousand or two thousand pound weight. I don't know. I might get wheel weights too on this thing because they can put them on it and now that this is on we can just pull this into the barn and park it um we gotta get some more grass cut before planting i mean or we could actually do it during well we can't do it during harvest because we're going to be busy doing all that so we can't really so we gotta try and get as much as we can done before planting Alright, so we got all of that unloaded, um, we just decided to put the bags in here, and I think I'm going to use the foil to hold the TMR down there. Um, but I went ahead and parked the International here, um, so we're going to go ahead and shut this, and I got to park the trailer. Let's go and put these, bell we'll put these bags on the four-wheeler. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Um, that's not going to work for us. Got to pull it out a little bit, right up there, right about there, that barely leaves me any room to sit. This will probably fall off, I mean, I'm going to be a little upset if they only needed, if they only need one bag. I'm taking two down there, and I have to, if I put both of these on here, it's, it's going to be bad, so, uh, let me just see if I can't move this one over to the side a little. And then we'll 
like set it like right there and then we'll grab this one and then we'll set it why wouldn't you strap down sir this bag will not strap down either it's not on there enough or it's just being stubborn and doesn't want to do what I tell it to do um come on yeah just, just sit right there okay I'm gonna restrap this now it's got both of those strapped down now, I don't know about the little Honda can hold it or not, but we'll, we'll try. And uh, I don't really use it much, so I figured I'd use it um, instead of the truck. Bring it back the trailer back up. I gotta find... See, that place, I might start putting some of my belling equipment in there once we get bells start going in there. I'm gonna start putting some bells and stuff in there. Maybe the, maybe the seed bags and all that. Because that old barn, I think at some point... It's gonna be tore down, and we're gonna get a new uh, building placed. I can lift. I can lift up the front end a little more now. There we go. And we're gonna park this thing back over here. And I can actually parked the gator back in the barn too. Um, Cole had it out, and I just left it there and completely forgot about her. Let's go and pull this thing. We'll go ahead and pull this thing back around. Just to bring it around. This thing's fun to drive. Um, I might get a different bed attachment or just get a mount regular bed so I can take this one off and mount the other one on without the sprayer and stuff. Um, the only reason I the only thing I don't like about this is I can't use that other door now because I where I put those seed bag where I put all those bags and stuff in there, which just had like an upper level um and stuff like that so i park it in there but i can't because there's is none in there worth moving full of park park outside the dirt bike um now we'll close you up and oh jesus oh uh come on little honda yeah, uh, if it's gonna pop it might pop willy please tell me it'll pop willy come on oh i was wanting i was actually kind of excited to see if it'll pop willy or not Alright, we're going to go very slow with this because I don't want this thing to flip on me. I'm going to get a small wagon or something to attach to the back of this uh, four-wheeler. I think I'm going to look for one on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, I don't know what Grandpa done with that. I don't even remember if that was here when I first moved here or not. But it, I did not expect to see that. I'm pretty sure you can fill TMR in the same place you put regular like hay and stuff. So... Oh, I don't know about getting up that ledge. I'll probably have to go out to the side and go up the somewhat easier way because the same thing as last Well, we'll try it. If this thing tips back, I'm going to be a little pissed. Wee! Willy time! <laughs> I got the quad to Willy now. Alright, um. Oh, Jesus. Come on. There we go. She's a little heavy. We're gonna put this on the front here. We're just gonna sit on the front. On um, we're gonna sit her long. We're gonna sit them long ways. You know what? Screw that. I'm just gonna sit them like I had them. And we're gonna try this again. All right. These are not too heavy, so I could get them. We're gonna go ahead and strap one down. And then we're going to get this, and then we'll lay this here, pick it up like this, and lay it like that, and then put that on the side of the four-wheeler, somehow get it to stay, I don't think it's going to stay. Oh my... Oh Jesus! All right, let's try it. I'm thinking. Um, let's open this up. Oh Jesus!
We're just gonna do this real quick and actually how does this work? Bro. Come on now. Don't do this to me. Alright guys, so I found the problem. Um for some reason it wouldn't work. So we're just gonna have to use this from now on. Or I'm gonna get a smaller one. But it works, we're gonna fill this up and then we're gonna go in here and then Oh my Jesus <laughs> Never mind. Mental feed is not expected here. Oh Well shoot, I bought the wrong stuff I guess. Uh what are we gonna do with this? I don't know. So I get well, unless it goes somewhere else. Does it go somewhere else? I am so confused. Oh my God, that's good. I also have this stuff in here and I don't know what to do with it. We're just going to keep driving this thing around until I find a place to park it. I mean, this thing, oh, this truck's low on fuel too. I gotta think I gotta do a little of adjusting to this. Because, uh, um, action cannot be formed here. Um, well, what are we going to do about this? Because I, I don't know how to get this out of my bed in my truck. Uh, let me turn on my, like, help window thing. And then let's see. That's the doors. Tip side left. Okay, let's try this. See if this works. Mineral feeds not performed here. Uh, uh, we're just gonna um. We'll keep driving around until I can actually empty this out somewhere. I don't know where I'm gonna empty it out into though. We may, I might, we're just gonna have to get a pressure washer to spray this thing out. I mean, I don't know what to do with it. For now, we're just like. Okay, when I saw it filling up, I thought it was gonna work. But I should have realized that this is not gonna be accepted there. So, we're just, let me see. Um, we're just gonna have to figure this out. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do with this, but we'll, I don't know, but we'll, we'll figure it out. This is, this is confusing. Anyways, um, we don't need to do that now. Um, I guess we can go ahead and get started mowing, so I'm gonna go grab the four-wheeler, bring it back up here, and we'll get the motors fired up. And there's one more other mower, actually, we're gonna have to get from that guy, so I'm gonna actually get him to deliver it over here to me. I'm gonna give him a call, see if he can bring it over here. Oh, she no, never mind. I didn't buy it off of him, but I'm thinking about I'm gonna go back over there and buy it. I know Cole said not to and just get the Batwing. We got the Batwing, but I think I'm gonna get that too. Okay, so the guy just left. He brought this down here. Um, so we're gonna actually start using this now. And I do want to use the Batwing more a little. So let's go and fire this bad boy back up. Oh yeah, it's a turbo. Um. It's a 2280, which is not that bad. Um, we're gonna get some mowing done though, and we're um, well, I still we're just gonna take a press washer or a shovel or something to dig all that. Or get all, or I'll probably just give the horse feed to or cow feed to someone who actually uh can use it. That'll probably be what I'm gonna do. But I do want to try this thing out, so. There. Well, would you look at that? It works just fine. Alright. That looks, this works actually pretty nice. But, um. I kind of like it. <laughs> okay, we can't go, we can't go over that, that's for sure. It's kind of like a zero turn, too, so I mean, hey, it works fine. I guess what I should have done. 
is just do it in rows like this because it'll make it easier on the beller so half of this is going to be bells and half of it's just going to be hay um about silage or silage i don't really know how we're going to do that because i've never done silage before probably just have to ask some local farmers around here and ask them if they can help um or ask google because that's a thing but I, my grandpa he don't have wi-fi out here so i mean I had to use my mo my phone's mobile data on everything that I looked up on the computer. So I mean, I could still probably do it though. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and mow this, and we're going to go ahead and I'm really hoping we get this done soon, which it shouldn't take too long to get this done. I'm probably gonna bring out the other mower too and try it out. Um, I just wanted to try this thing out too. So we'll do half of this filled with this, and then we'll get the other pathway mower out, and we'll do it with that. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and finish this. Alright, we're close to being done with this, so I'm not, you're not gonna get too much more with this mower. And we'll get the other one out. I mean, this mower airs more for, like, bailing and stuff, so, I mean, I really like it. I only paid, like, 500 bucks for it, which is not that bad. Um, I mean, it's a very, it's like a still, right? That's a still, you know? Like, $500 for a piece of machinery like this, I mean, damn. That guy must have been really desperate to sell it. But, I was expecting more. He was one for like 2000 for it. Because the other tractor and mower, the tractor, mower, and uh, four-wheeler for the other one was like 20000 This man on for this one only wanted $500. That makes no sense. But yeah, we're gonna about, we're about to get ready and go get the other mower. But let me get this like lined up so it's not as hard on the other mower to get it all in you know rows and stuff. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish this up, and we're we should finish this soon. I'm just gonna cut through here real quick. Uh, we gotta get this little section done that I'm cutting now. And I'm probably just go ahead and switch to the other mower. Honestly, I do like this mower and I like using it, but I it burns the fuel a lot. And also, dang it, I forgot to um, get someone because some, I'm trying to get someone to bring me a diesel or get diesel and gas tank down here so I can use it for to fill up my stuff. So I don't have to go because I don't even know where the gas. The well, Casey's is all the way in town, and that's like another 30 minutes out from here. So, it would really help to have one. It really would. So, yeah, we're going to have to get one. Um, let me finish this pass real quick, and we're going to go ahead and do one more pass on the way back. And then we'll go ahead and get the other mower and, jaunt and tractor. i got to build a bigger shed. But I'm probably going to park this and my baler in the, um, in the other shed which is going to be where my bills are going to be placed so um we're going to do that and this will be our last pass on this thing and then we'll get the batwing mower and we're just going to use it now so i gotta try and find a snow plow all right we're going to go ahead cut her off bring her up and let's go ahead and get back to over here we'll park it and we'll get the other one all right we got this mower we're going to drop her down and fold her real quick there we go now we're chugging along. This will be a lot fa a little faster than the other mower too. And that's another thing about this. Alright. So we're going to finish this up and then we'll get bailing done. We got to tether it. I don't know. We got to Gotta tether it first. And then we gotta windrow it and then we got to bail it. And 
we'll probably pick, like I said, we'll probably pick half of it up with the forage wagon and then half of it up for bailing. Because we gotta get bells in here too. I'll probably make hay bells. Uh, I'll probably make silage. I don't know how you make it though. Actually, I want to see how you make silage. Um, bellers, this is for... Okay, this is what we need. It will pick up bells and turn it into silage. Uh, let's see if they have any other ones. I know the Kubota one. Um, or there was a Kubota one. But it, this, so basically they're saying it picks up bells, wraps it, and turns it into silage. And the full cover, color can actually be pretty cool. So I'm going to purchase this and uh, we'll pick that up later today. Because they should have it ready by then, I'd hope. Well, I hope they have it ready anyways. Um, we're going to finish this mowing out. And we're not going to mow too much. I mean, I don't want to mow to the point where it takes all day long to get done. Um, about that much right there will be this much from right here. We'll go ahead and actually whenever we get to the point where I want to stop with the, like, the point where I want to stop with the, like, the forage wagon. We'll go ahead and get that out and we'll start picking the grass up that we want with that. And then what we'll do after that, we'll continue mowing again after we get, um, so this section right here is all going to be put in the hayloft, which is not going to be built. We're going to sell silage, uh, to make money and we're going to use this like hay we'll make half we'll spend half of it to make a profit and then we'll use the other half to feed the cows and then we'll sell the cows whenever they get old enough and we'll buy more cows and it'll just be a whole thing So we are about done with this. We're just going to park this down here. And actually, you don't have to be folded up. Alright, now we're going to go up here and get our forge wagon. First we gotta get the tether and winter to work out and then we gotta get that because the tether is gonna turn it over into hay And then we gotta get the winter to make it in single rows so it's easier for the forage wagon So we'll get all that stuff set up. Come on, baby There we go All right, just pulling out all of our bailing equipment here Oh, we hit the bailer Trying to squeeze it right through here. There we go. I'm gonna run down here and we're gonna pick up the uh, the bell loader trailer because we are, like I said, we're doing belling too, so kind of need this. Should be good to go. Let's go ahead and get back down here. Um, I hope this thing will pull it. Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. All right, we're going to drive this back over here. We're going to start driving the equipment down to the far or down to the field, and we'll go ahead and start working. Alright, we got this. And now we can get started with the tethering. And we're hoping to make a good amount of hay. So, we'll get whatever we can in the forge wagon. And whatever we don't get, we'll just turn into bells and stuff. Make silage. 
Which reminds me, we still gotta go pick that up. Alright. Just stay right here between these two rows, and we should be able to get both rows at once. And. I kind of want to get a bigger tether, but I mean, I probably could. This tractor could probably pull it. Um. But I haven't yet. So. Um. I don't know if I'm going to. I was going to try to, but. Eh, I don't really know. I think I might. I don't know. But uh, I gotta get a pressure washer or something so we can wash these tractors off too. That's something we gotta do. So, all right, we are on our last pass. Um, we probably wait till tomorrow to do the bailing, but put this. In, we'll go ahead and put this stuff in the hayloft. Um, but for bailing, we'll go ahead and cut it today. Windrow it. But for silage, silage, I really don't know if you use hay or grass, or if you could just use either one. So I'm gonna have to do some research on that because I've never done silage before. That's the only thing I've never done. Um, but we're gonna look that up here soon, or soon before we do it. Um, I guess I'll just leave this parked outside till I get all the other stuff moved out of my way. Which means I probably should have left this this belling stuff alone. And that reminds me, we could use this on the uh let's go on back this stuff back in here. Or I might not I might just um and yeah, we'll go ahead and back it in. It'd be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna go and back the belling stuff in here because we're not gonna use it. Um, and I could just back the trail. I'm not gonna back this trailer up. Mm -mm. Just because of that reason, I cannot back these types of trailers up. So we're just gonna go ahead and bring her around. Come on. I guess take a little wider of a turn. Alright, there's that. We'll get all this. We're, yeah, the reason I'm going to wait till tomorrow to build so I can let that hay or grass or whatever we're going to do dry out and make it better hey so yeah put you back in here and we'll shut you off uh, this the tether could go in here because I don't need it right now so I want to connect this to the forge wagon those bags all right let's go over here and get this forge wagon and take it down there all right got the farm all um, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing going um, and we're gonna start windrowing this stuff so it's a little easier on the forge wagon and uh, it's hard to pick this stuff up and we're gonna get this done um, and then Yeah, all right, we're gonna drop this back down Turn it on I think I hate about the small ones you gotta go you gotta make two passes 
and stuff that sucks. Um, but I mean, hey, it works. finish this up and then we'll go ahead and get the forge wagon down well it's already down here we'll go ahead and pull the forge wagon in here all right so I kind of gave up on using this because it takes forever so we're just gonna go ahead and grab the forge wagon and start um, filling that thing up um, we might not do all this because I want more bells than I can get hay just you know straight up hay because I want more silage because we can make more money so we're just gonna park this thing here and we're gonna hop into John Deere 4040, get the forage wagon going, and I gotta get this thing turned around and go in, go in a straight line there so we can uh, get this done. Everything running, yeah, we should be good to go. Oh, there we go, she's picking it up. Alright, we just gotta get this done and then we should be good to go. After we get this done, we'll go ahead and uh, get started on. We'll probably just have to. Once we get this done, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and finish cutting the rest. I might wait till tomorrow to go ahead and cut the rest and then we'll bell it that day. Or later, like we'll cut it early in the morning, bail it later that evening. It's probably what we're gonna start. What we're gonna do tomorrow? Um, Cause this is all we're gonna do today is get this silage or this hay put in the hayloft, and then uh, after that, we're just gonna go in and uh, take a nap and maybe get some Casey's. I don't know. But um. Yeah, this thing's already about halfway full. But it'll work just fine. We should probably have to go empty it out here soon though. But it'll be fine. Alright, this thing's full so we're gonna draw this up here and empty it in the hay loft. Alright, that should do it that load and I think the last load we get of this stuff we're just gonna haul it and haul it down to the cattle and get them fit um, fed so or the last like couple like thousand liters or so we'll just toss in there and give them to eat so they'll be good and now we gotta get this thing back to work I gotta get finish that pass that I missed and we'll just go ahead and continue on with our journey of getting this done, we'll go and pick this thing up so we can go on down here. I'm honestly thinking about getting a stone picker so we can get all these rocks up and we'll have it in case we ever need, like, you know, to build an extension for the driveway or something like that. I don't know. Because you never know what you need gravel for. I mean, you can use it for anything. So, so I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a stone picker and also a pressure washer and a fuel pump put in. That's what we're gonna do. All right, so we're gonna get this done, and then uh, or maybe this little go and haul down there to the cattle. Uh, we'll probably just wait. Uh, I'm gonna go and grab that on the road. I'm gonna go around this big mound of whatever this is. I was thinking about turning that into a ramp, but since this is my hay field right here, I don't know if I wanna do that. So. But I mean, we could do it. I probably will. I'm probably gonna get a pond put in here too. I was thinking about maybe putting one over on that side back there. I don't know for sure where yet. Um, but I thought it'd be pretty nice to get one put in and upgrade the farm make it look a little nicer maybe even get a different house built <laughs> I don't know uh, there'll be something to do in the future though for sure whenever I I mean I have enough money to right now if I really wanted to I mean we could but 
Eh, I don't really feel like I have to be. I'll probably be staying with the. I'll be sleeping with the cows for like a month straight, waiting for the house to be done. It's easy to tear down, but not easy to build back up. That's the only thing. If I did get a house, it'd be probably a modern house. But I kind of want to keep that house good with my grandpa's. He was Bobby's, you know. I mean. He used to let me drive the com combines and tractors all the time, like Cole said. The last time he would always come in, Cole would always help him farm. He was he was crazy too. He, I guess, before he passed a couple, probably he passed about a year ago. But you know, I'm just now getting the property, which I've been on here for a while, and I mean, basically it's like a vacation house, but. It's still, I gotta try and maintain this property and, you know, keep it from going into debt and keep his farm alive, I guess you could say, for him. So, that's, uh, that's something hard we gotta keep going. And I think this is about full again. Yep, she's full. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, I might just tell him to take this load down there to the cattle real quick. Um... Yeah, that's what we'll do. We're just going to take this down to the run this down to the cattle because they can have more extra food and stuff as well. I might get some horses. Horses can make you a lot of money. Um, but yeah, we don't. We got that little section over there. We got more too. I didn't think about that until now. So that's gonna be fun. I gotta get a skid steer or something. That's why I need gravel for. That's exactly why I want to get gravel so I can level up this freaking road. Alright, let's go ahead and get this thing dumping back in here. So far, they've got 10,000 liters. And there are more. How many liters have they got? They got 21,000. Holy crap. Alright, that should keep you, fed, you, you guys fed for a while. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and drive. Yeah, I gotta fix this driveway. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drive this thing back up here and we're gonna go ahead and continue with the foraging. I guess you could say. Alright, that's another load done. We're gonna go ahead and empty this in the silo. Not in the silo, the hayloft. And then we got one more pass and one or two more passes. And I don't think we're gonna get another load, but we're gonna empty what we got. What we'll get and what we got right now and I still gotta clean that fucking bed out that I thought I thought I don't know why but I thought we could you know use that but we can't so let's go and empty this out real quick and get you going there there we go how much we got in here we got 20,000 Yeah, it shoots up through here. I don't know why it comes to the ground, but we got 32,000 liters in there so far. Alright, so the cows should be good with feed for now. Um... I've actually never tried milking a cow in this game. On farming simulator, I've never milked cows, so I might actually try doing that. I don't know how you do it. We'll figure it out. Um, alright, we gotta finish this up. We're close to being done. So, uh, yeah, about two more passes and we'll be done. No? I don't know. Let's go ahead and cut over right quick and we're gonna go ahead and get this. And um, yeah, this is our last pass. We gotta turn around and go back though. We'll only get like a thousand or two thousand out of this. I mean, it's still, still grass or hay. Um, but yeah, we'll probably cut the rest and then like we'll get up around six or seven in the morning, come out here, mow. Uh, and then wait till about five o'clock in the evening, I'd say. And then we'll start, or maybe yeah, we'll wait till about five or six and we'll come out here and we'll start, um, bailing it. So. That'll probably be what we're gonna do.
All right, and we're done. I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a little bit to Cal because, uh, well, there's no point in putting it in the in the place. So uh, I'll probably just leave my motor here, and the tractor and stuff here. Um, but I really gotta get. The, I think tomorrow we're gonna try and get a fuel pump down here and all that other stuff. I said I forgot. Uh, stone picker. We're gonna get that too. Because I can fix this driveway. Oh my Jesus. There you go, cattle. You got a little more food coming in. Alright. And our food is done. I want to figure out how this milk thing works. We got milk. So we got we get also give them straw. So what I was thinking of doing, um, I'm probably just gonna get some straw bills and give them some straw, basically, because I don't feel like <laughs> I would, you know, buy like I would not. I mean, I have a lot of money, and I'm gonna go ahead and stock up on some of this. That should be good. That that's actually oh my Jesus, fifty one thousand dollars in straw. I mean we don't have any wheat fields, so we can't really get straw. So I guess it'll be okay to stock up on it. So we'll just put it in like the shed or something, whatever we don't use. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and drive this up. We also got a corn field right here. That's uh, it's sixteen. It's not that big. Um, which means I might actually use that. We're definitely have to get that harvest done this year. Got a bean harvest and corn harvest to do then. I, didn't, I forgot that we had that. I didn't even know he had that. Yeah, it's probably other fields back there too that I don't know about. I haven't even explored the full property yet. We gotta bring that farm all back up here too. But that is gonna be all we're gonna be doing for today. Uh, anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.